G'day and welcome back to Sports Gab. It's the Sydney Derby, mate! Sydney FC. La, da, 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 da. Better save my voice for the match. What is happening, everybody? It is the Sydney Derby, as you well know, and I'm so excited to represent Sydney FC on a what is currently a very sky blue day. It's the last match before we head into the World Cup international break, and we want to go into that break on an absolute high. Both teams are coming off very bad defeats last week. And only one team can make amends for that. And that team today is going to be Sydney FC. Our last derby at Allianz, which was in the soaking wet, where we won 3-1 and a free kick from Adrian Muscles Mijayevsky, which you can see right here. We will be emblazoning his spirit in today's match. And we're going to win. I reckon we're going to win 3-1. There's been goals, goals and goals in every single Sydney FC game this season so far. It's crazy. It's going to rain goals. I reckon it's going to be 1-1 one, one at halftime. And we're just going to pull away with it. 3-1 in front of a packed crowd I hear at Allianz. The return of derbies to Allianz. I say no more. Let's get into it. Ah oh, yes, my old friend, the piano. I've had it since I was little. I just teach myself. I did piano lessons up until I was in year four, where I reached grade five, and then I sort of just stopped playing the piano. But I can still pick up music. I can pick up new songs. But anyway, it's time for the jersey selection. Options today are the Sydney FC Champions 19 shirt, our infamous signed Sydney FC shirt, it's got all the 2016-17 lads. It's got Graham Arnold down there. A lot of them has faded, so I try and limit this use to special occasions only. I've worn it already to the big blue, and I don't like wearing it too often because of the signatures. But we've also got the Alex Brosk jersey, the king of the derbies, the one who stated we hate Western Sydney. We've also got the Champions 20 shirt. And last, but very not least, Milos Ninkovic, number 10 the away jersey I got last year. Now, at the time of purchase, I thought it was a magnificent idea. I was in desperate need of an away jersey, and who better represents away games than Milos Ninkovic, our import, our international, until this year, of course. Now, I only got to wear that jersey a few times last year. I haven't worn it to an away game yet, but since his move across to the team we're facing today, our arch derby rivals, I don't know if I can ever wear that jersey again. So we're not wearing that jersey today. But let's spin the imaginary jersey wheel of fortune. I'm losing my voice before the game. And the winner is the Alex Brosk jersey. I'm going to make a little segment for that. I'm going to have to make like a graphic for that. Because I always switch. I always rotate around my jerseys and scars for that matter. Because I have so many of them. So they can feel used by the end of the season. So we're wearing the Brosk the king of the derbies, El Capitan, vamonos Sydney FC. I'm going to have the coolest shower, and then we're gonna go and pick up Ibi, Habibi, and we're gonna win the Sydney derby. It's derby days, lads. Uh, there you go, there you go. Forza Sydney FC. Forza Wanderers. Forza Brisbane Roar. Uh, we're cruising along, we've got Jacob Agano oh, over we're here. Absolutely bro. cruising along, bro. Oh, we're cruising. 100 kilometers an hour, more look like 100 centimeters a freaking year. Oh, oh bro, look at this traffic. top speed. Oh, look at the DRS open. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, in approximately 14 millimeters, go in the right lane. Too late. Too late, that bro. Was past, that was more than 14 Too late, millimeters. bro. Too late. Oh, God, we missed it. Bro. I score predictions. I'm going Azerbaijan 2, Ukraine 1. <laughs> What about you, Jacob? Yeah, I said it to the viewers already. They know. They know oh, is winning this game 3-1. They know. 3-1, you're predicting? Yeah, Ninkovic is going to score. Uh, but Sydney FC is going to score 3 I'm going to let you know right now. Full-time score, nil all. They're going to provide a real spectacle for the ne nearly sold-out crowd. Uh, although, 
knowing Sydney FC versus Western Sydney Wanderers, it always is a feisty game. So I'm going to predict one red card for who we do not know. But yes, there will but be a red still card. I reckon it's going to be nil all. It is going to be nil all. Every Sydney FC game has had five goals this season. Yeah, but that's why goals. you need to go against the run of play. And no. not only that, there will be a goal disallowed because of VAR. VAR is going to play a factor in it. Definitely nil all, one red card, one VAR overturned decision. And most importantly, Braden to get a yellow card against Ninkovic. That, 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 if that doesn't happen, then this will be my last ever video appearance on this channel. <laughs> yeah, because he's not going to be able to afford going to any other Yeah, matches. that's it, bro. I put, I put a lot of money on Ninkovic to foul, get fouled by Braden, bro. Bangers and mash if you like the tunes. But damn, my voice is already gone, bro. Nothing more Australian than the boys walking around Saturday Arvo. They got their fucking shirts on, man. They're walking around one goat beer in each hand. Look at that. The They've got Gary the Goat. They've got Gary the Goat. Gaza! Yeah. If you wanted to see Australia summed up in one video, it'd be that because I followed by this because traffic. So yeah, <laughs> yeah sums it up pretty well. Going back to the 100 subs vid. If you know, you know. I want to catch Hazard. Got him. On the way to the pub because we're very early and very destroyed vocals. Yes. So nothing's uh, more soothing to the throat than a fucking bevy. Nice ice cold bevy on a beautiful Sydney day. <laughs> it started off magnificent, like it at did. the start oh, of the bro. video, and then now it's just a little bit. Yeah. Half an hour till the cove starts, the half march an hour starts. translates to one thing and one thing only, enough time to get drunk. Approximately four bevies. Uh, we'll start with two, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> a couple of squires of the Hammers Rodriguez nature. Very refreshing. We like to drink with Evie, because Evie is our mate. And when we drink with Ibi, he downs it all in eight, even after pouring his own drink. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bro, that is an effort. March time. How do we cross Ibs? There's no light there. There's no light there. Yeah, there was a crash right there. Taxi. Can I get a taxi? Yeah, just chilling in the march. Yeah, yeah. yeah just out. We follow you to the FC, our boys in blue. Get out!
I can't believe I'm still here. Let's get off this bridge first. <laughs> the bridge is about to break. Holy fuck. I'm not going bro. I don't know. This guy has a shirt. Oi, what a finish. He's got no fans, bro. You got hard no work on oh, the This is a grind right here. I expect bro. that to hit the referee. Bro, that's Up going. See the stage? Yeah. See the stage? On the stage. It's half time mate, what do you reckon? What do you reckon mate? Wonder has been playing better, not yeah, the Yeah, they have. But the score's never off, it's still anyone's game. Obviously, we need a good second half performance for Sydney FC. Change the game. 90th minute winner still up for grabs. Yep. But your nil nil still up for grabs. I'm sticking with my nil nil. I'm honestly still with it. But I guess we'll see how the game goes. Hopefully Sydney FC win, but we're just going to see the next 45 minutes lose it. As of the next five minutes, when the Wanderers go 1 0 up, my 3 1 still up for grabs. Let's not say that. Second half started. Let's go, lads! Well done! This game will be scoreless. Drink to that. Da, 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 da. He's had a bit too much to drink.
Djokovic got an assist against us. Oh, there's 20 minutes to play, lads. Just at least scrap a draw. Oh, dearie me. Dolce and Gabbana, you like it? <laughs> sponsor us, we need a sponsor. Oh, uh, bro, 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 Jacob Chileno sponsored by Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana. Wait, 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 wait. How do you turn the camera upside down? No, you can't. You're just there. Then how did you put the camera this way before when we were driving? What do you mean? Was it never this way? No. All right, wait, wait, wait. You can't. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Bro. Wait, I'll give you some light. Wait, wait, I've got this. I've got this. So. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's it. That's it. Bro, go, go the Knucks. Just go the Knucks. Go the Knicks, bro. Go the Knicks. Dolphins, bro. Dolphins. Dolphins. Oh, the Miami Dolphins. Good night, bro. Disappointing result. Force, Disappointing day. Force of Sydney FC. Force of Sydney. Hey, One up? month break. So we've dropped off Ibs and the lads. Um, they had to rush to Ivy. They're actually going to Ivy to drink away their sorrows in the neon lights of a club. Sydney FC lost 1-0 today, we lost another derby 1-0, we lose a lot of derbies 1-0. I think Sydney FC as a club is also in need of this one month break because the whole season we haven't been convincing. We lost to victory in a game we shouldn't have lost. We drew to Adelaide in a game that we should have won. Beat Western United, but everyone's beating Western United. Um, we beat MacArthur in a game we really shouldn't have won and we didn't deserve to win. Lost to Brisbane Raw in a game we definitely deserve to lose. And we lost to Wanderers in a game we deserved to lose. It took to the 90th minute for us to have a notable chance of scoring. It took to the 90th fucking minute. What's happening, Sydney FC? Are we Corica out? Are we... What's happening? We've changed to a 4-3-3, but it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe Corica's being caught out. I don't know. We just don't have a defense and we're not going to go anywhere without having a defense to solidify our attack so that when our attack isn't having the best day, i.e. today... We're not going to lose the match. Good teams don't lose when they should be losing the match. If they're having an off day, they don't lose. That's what good teams do. That's what we used to do. That's what we're no longer doing at the moment. And it's very disappointing. I don't think I'm fully used to Sydney FC not dominating the league yet. But something I'm obviously going to have to get used to now. To end this on a lighter note, yes... There's no A-League for a month, but that does not mean Sports Cubs stops at all. Sports Cubs got your sports covered, whether it be basketball, your hockey, footy, soccer, NRL. 
whatever it is, cricket, we've got you covered. We've got heaps coming up. We've got a vlog happening next week. We're going to Australia v England, the ODI, and we're also going to Celtic v Everton. So until next week, I've been your boy Sports Kip. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you love what we do. Get on board with what we're doing. The vibes are different every match day, but the vibes are always great. I've been your boy Sports Kip. Until the next one, I'll be seeing you shortly. Take care. Force of Sydney FC. We'll get them again eventually. Yeah. Peace out.